Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. And today we're gonna dive into different ways for you to pay off debt. So we talk about debt a lot on the show, but it is really important for you guys to realize that yes, it is so normal today. It's part of our world. We depend on it, a lot of people do. So to take yourself out of it, to say, okay, I'm gonna change the way I look at my money. I'm gonna change the way I view debt. And instead of saying, yeah, debt's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Instead of saying, what if this was completely out of my life? What if I actually had less stress? What if I actually could sleep at night and not worry about my money? Because it's an amazing thing. When you don't live with debt and you are debt-free, you don't owe anything to anyone. There is such freedom in that. Now, it's much easier said than done just to say, you know, go and pay off all your debt. It's gonna take some time. It's a journey, okay? So there's different things that you can implement in your life to help you pay off debt that much faster. So that's what we're gonna talk about today on the show. To really walk through, here are some really creative ways, maybe thinking outside the box, of how you can earn extra money and put that extra money towards debt. So in our seven baby steps, baby step two is to pay off all of your debt. You first wanna save up a starter emergency fund of $1,000, and then you're gonna move on to baby step two, which is the debt snowball. So you're gonna list out all of your debts, smallest to largest, regardless of the interest rate, pay minimum payments on everything, and attack the smallest one first. Focus all of your time, all of your energy, all of your effort on that smallest one, once it's paid off, then you roll all the payments that were going there to the second smallest. And you keep going and going until you're debt free. And we find that people are getting out of debt in 18 to 24 months, which is awesome on average. So it's an exciting thing. And it's one of my favorite things that I hear from people as they're walking this journey when they say, oh, they did it. Because it kind of feels impossible. But when you do it and you start making that progress, you realize, no, there's hope in this. You really can become debt free. So before we dive into some of the creative ways that you can pay off debt, I want to tell you about a company that I love and I recommend, Christian Healthcare Ministries. You guys are great shoppers. You have an eye for quality and a nose for value. But what about healthcare? What if you have healthcare that is not only budget friendly and stable, but flexible and biblical as well. That's what you get with Christian Healthcare Ministries. To learn more, go to chministries.org slash Rachel. All right, let's dive into some ways that you can pay off debt fast. Number one, create monthly challenges for yourself. So this could be making coffee at home. Maybe a challenge is that you don't go out to eat at all. Maybe a challenge is having zero dollars for entertainment and you say no to everything. Even have a no spend challenge where you literally don't spend money for an entire month. So these challenges really help you save money and it challenges you, which is a great thing. And you really see these needs versus wants in your life. Next, skip the salon. This hurts my heart a little, but this will save you so much money. If you're used to getting your nails done a lot, skip the salon, do it yourself. If you go, to a hair place and it's really expensive and you could spend hundreds of dollars doing it, you know, maybe for a season you just go somewhere cheaper. So those kind of things, again, will save you money, even though I know it hurts. It's not forever. It's not forever. You can go back. But for now, while you're paying off debt, cut some of those services. Next, barter services with your friends and neighbors or even family. So look at people that have skills that you may need and just say, hey, let's swap, right? You can even look on local Facebook groups too to find people to network with, but maybe you're great at cooking and you say, hey, I will make you five meals. You can freeze half of them if you come and organize my pantry and our toy room. Or maybe you say, hey, I'm a photographer, so I'll give your family a free photo shoot if your husband, who's great at installing stuff, can come in and help us with some of our repairs, right? Finding these things that you can do to swap out will save money. Also, get a flexible side gig. So you can transcribe audio for a company like Rev.com. You could become a shopper for online retailers like Amazon Fresh or Shipped. You can make extra cash by taking surveys online or playing games online, watching videos. So companies like Swagbucks or Inbox Dollars are great for that. You can also pet sit, babysit, tutor, clean houses. I mean, with all the school and daycares still kind of like open, closed, open, closed, depending on COVID, a lot of families are needing help at home. So anything like that is amazing to earn some extra money. 
even thinking about companies like Fiverr Act as a hub where companies connect freelance professionals, so writers, translators, graphic designers, website builders, social media experts, computer programmers, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And if you've landed your full-time dream job, keep living like a college student. So this is great advice because your lifestyle can creep up when you start making some money. And if this is like your first big time job out of college, it's easy to be like, wow, look at this salary. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna just spend it and enjoy. But listen, keep living like a college student if you have debt. I mean, talking about frozen pizzas, keep your hand-me-down furniture. If your parents live nearby, maybe do laundry at their house. I mean, anything that you can do to save some extra money on your lifestyle is so key. And putting as much of your salary towards your debt snowball will help you out. Next, opt for reusable items. So this can actually save you up to $600 a year. So instead of paper towels, maybe use a reusable dishcloth or instead of sandwich baggies, do containers. Refillable K-cup filters, dryer balls instead of dryer sheets, reusable water bottles instead of buying bottled water. You can even make your own cleaning solutions at home. Uh-huh, I did a whole video on this that I'll put in the show notes. So all of this, again, can save you close to $600, and that goes a long way in your debt snowball. You can also rent out your house. Yep, this is a possibility. So if you have people in your life that need to come in and they are gonna pay for a hotel room, maybe you offer your guest bedroom if you have one, or uh, even if you have a finished basement and you can rent it out on like VRBO or Airbnb. Again, this is all if you're comfortable with that idea, but if you are, you can earn some extra cash that way. You can also get a roommate if you're single. And I've even known married couples are like, yeah, we'll rent out our bedroom to a roommate for nine months. Anything to earn extra money that you feel comfortable in, it's a go. Also think about your car. What if you sold it? Mm -hmm. What if you have payments on it and you're thinking, man, instead of paying a car payment every month, what if I sell it? And you could replace it with a really, really, really inexpensive car. Or if you're in a situation where you could walk to work or ride your bike to work, maybe you do that for a season. Now, if you can't sell your car, maybe look at your insurance. So don't skimp on your insurance, but make sure that you're not paying for anything extra that you don't need. You can ask about special offers or discounts or bundling different opportunities. All of that could save you a lot of money on your auto insurance. There are so many ways, you guys, to pay off debt. So many creative things in our world today, which is a great thing. Now, does some of it take some sacrifice? Yes, does some of, some of it take things that you're like, man, I don't really wanna do this, it's not convenient, but I'm going to just earn some extra money? Yes, because the deeper you are willing to sacrifice, specifically your lifestyle and other things, the faster you're gonna get out of debt. And that's the key, you guys, it is a short-term sacrifice for a long-term gain. Remember we said at the beginning of this, on average, people are paying off all of their debt but their house in 18 to 24 months. I mean, that, it goes so fast, it goes so fast. And to think that you could sacrifice for a short period of time to have no payments for the rest of your life, it's an amazing thing, an absolutely amazing thing. So you can be free from debt. And if you want help with that, go to ramseysolutions.com slash ramseyplus to start your free trial. It will help you pay off debt faster and save more money. It's a membership that includes Financial Peace University and our Every Dollar budgeting app. So you guys, you can be free from debt. It is possible. I see it every single day and it can be you, but you have to have the belief first and foremost that you can do this. And I believe you can, you can do this. Because remember, I want you to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>